Hello everybody. I finally got it. I'm finally opening it. It's this. This beauty. Look at him. I'm so happy. So yeah, I, this video is probably going to be pretty quick because there's not much to look at, but... Yeah, so... Pretty nice. Games included. Super Mario Bros. Oh my gosh. Whoa, Zelda. Pac-Man. Focus Metroid. Donkey Kong. Kirby's Adventure. Rated D10+. Plus. And also, I'm sad because... My NES Classic came with a bashed in a corner, as you can see. So, rip. But, yeah. But otherwise, that, that's really the only thing I can see wrong with it right now. Just a bashed in a corner, but... Looks pretty nice. And it's got that nice classic Cindy in this controller. At the backside. Retro Blast from the Past. Doing it to focus again. Un voyage exultant to traverse le temps. Un viaje al pasado más retro. Very retro. So I, I'm just gonna I try and get a good angle of this, but I can't work it out. Okay, so yeah, it just kind of, kind of shows off some things it has. It's got Final Fantasy, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Super Mario Bros. Mario Bros. 2, Mega Man, Punch Out, Balloon Fight, Mario Bros. 3, Donkey Kong Jr., Zelda 2, Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden? Castlevania, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, and a bunch more on that list. I'll tell you look at it for a second. Yeah. Cool. Just gonna get the focus one more time. See if we can work it better. Yeah. Okay. And also, it's rated E10+, plus for some reason. No clue why. And also, I didn't realize this until, like, literally right now, but... This is, this is like a D-pad C, because it's like, it, it's a D-pad, like, wow, that's so good. Yeah, we just got a little bit extra on here, like the Mario Bros. crabs things, and Donkey Kong with some barrels, and there we have, um, Madden, Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong, uh, Pac-Man, Mega Man, uh, um, I guess it's Mega Man 2, because they don't have one for some reason. Mario Bros. Yeah. Now look at the side. Got the nice little link right there. NES Classic Controller. Play NES, play classic NES games the way they are meant to be played on a full-sized original NES controller. Just plug in, you're ready to go. Includes all of the original features. Contr look. Up, down, left, right, control pad for quick control and movement. A and B buttons for rapid fire action. And select and start for menu selection and pause in the game. You make that sound so awesome, but it's not really. I guess it kind of was for the time, but like not now. NES console. It's a retro blast from the past with modern, with a return of the all time fan favorite Nintendo Entertainment System. This mini sized. This mini-sized NES Classic Edition system is packaged with three pre-installed classic Nintendo Entertainment System games from the 80s, fully loaded and ready to play using the original-style NES Classic controller. Now let's look at the bottom in case there's anything on here. Bet not. And it's got a few lines there, like on the NES's front, I guess. The, N the SNES kind of did a similar thing. Um, yeah, I believe that's all there is to look at there. Also, just for comparison, quick, um, um, I'm just gonna set that there for a second. Let the good, nice view of my table. But I also brought down with me the SNES Classic box. So now for comparison. So, to be honest, I kind of like the front of this one a little bit more compared to that one. But, yeah. The top is the same, it's the same color, we got that same little font and style. Like, no, I like the look of that. Um, it's basically the same for the two of those. And for the back, again, I kind of like the style of the SNES, SNES Classics a little bit more than the NES Classics. But again, personal preference. 
And also here, how they just did the box art for every game here. Well, I think it's every game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, 20. Not plus Star Fox 2, which I have not played yet. But yeah, um, for some reason there's tape on the ground. That's really derpy. Yeah, I, I like the style of the SNES Classics more. This one just looks a little bit worse, in my opinion. Then here, to look at this side. Not really much to compare. A little, little bit of a longer paragraph there. Which makes the link stand out a little bit more. And then get the front. Basically, overall, like the style of the SNE, SNES Classics box are a little bit more. In the bottom, I'll show you what I mean. Like, here it has those little two lines, which the SNES has. That little style here just has the lines that the NES has, which I, I like that, that I like that touch. So now we'll just get rid of this. Look at that beauty. Sorry for glare on the box. And one of the things I do not like about the NES compared to the SNES Classic is that the SNES Classic came with two controllers, this comes with only one. I plan to get a second in the next few weeks and I'll have a separate video for that. But for now we will just open this. So, I'm gonna have to set this down if I can manage to work that out. Okay, how do you open this? Oh, nice. Let's see. Now you're playing with power. But is it super power? It's not. Okay, I can pop it. Look, it's a holding it again. Maybe not actually. <laughs> um, no, I can get that. No, I can't. Okay. Dang, this is tight fit. Okay. So, as you can see, there's nothing on the inside of there. Well, you can't see that, but I can see that. <laughs> so here we have the box itself. And we have another poster. Oh, well, I'll set that aside. Um, do I dare open this? I think I dare. I think I dare. Sorry about seeing nothing, but I need to work out to open this. There we go. And I'm sorry about this bad view, but that's what you get. Because, yeah. So here we have startup instructions. I don't think that really matters. Shouldn't be hard to plug in. Um, again, sorry for seeing just my table. Let's. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh, dang. It's not opening, for some reason. Oh dang. It folded bad. Oh, what the heck. Okay, there we go. So, on this side, we have startup instructions in every language. And plus warnings and stuff. We have that in, again, in, I believe, Spanish, potentially. And here we have it in French, I believe, potentially. But this art is actually really nice. Look, look, look at that. Get the full view. Sorry if it's bent, but that it's folded like that. And I've playing with power since 1985. It's got the nice zapper to control herself. Rob the robot. It's a few controllers, and here we have the hunt and the gyro might. Never even heard of that before. And he's playing it on his nice old TV. Nice poster. Not gonna hang it up though. Wanna keep it safe. So we're just gonna fold it back up again. If we can work out how. Okay, yeah, that's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. Oh, and then also we have another small paper here. Maybe this is just additional warnings and stuff. Um. Yeah, it's just kind of like warnings and other stuff that I didn't want to put on a poster. Because why would you do that? I'm going to quick package that away for the safekeepings. 
because everything in my SNES classic box is just kind of in a mess right now, and I don't want that to be the case for my NES classic. I packaged it good enough, I guess. That, that, that looks fun. Now, to what you probably all care about. Oh, dang. It, I done bad again. Good enough. Here is our console itself. <coughs> Tiny. Get that out of here. Okay, that's fine set up. Oh, oh, you just grab it. That makes sense. Okay, I'll set that down quick. So, yeah. It, it's small. It fits in your hand like they advertise. It's also, like, really light. Like, this is about as heavy as a banana or lighter. So, that's pretty good. This is what I was talking about. It's got those lines like I had on the box for. So as you can see, it's an entertainment system. That is where on the original you would open it up for cartridges, but obviously it doesn't have cartridges. There is our power button. That one clicks in when it's on. Goes out when it's off. There's the reset button to get to the menu. And I believe that's our little button to signify that it is on. Let's see the bottom. Great vents. Um, yeah, just like stuff. <laughs> then in the back here. I have that upside down. You can't see it. We have DC in, aka just like your average power. If I'm correct, I think that also works for iPads. And there's our HDMI out. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting's a little bit bad, but I don't really have anything to do about that. And there is our controller plug-ins. I'll get that in a second. But yeah, this thing is like light. It's so light. And well, it's really convenient. It has a has those small pads on the bottom that which create prevents it from like getting like scratched or whatever. Now this box again. Open that up. Here is our controller. We're gonna set that over there. The, the blue thing just kind of sticks out like that. That's great. Let's kind of pull it out. There we go. I'm going to take that off quick if I can get it. And they have another one. I don't think I'll need to mess up now. But yeah, this controller, it, it feels legit. And also, for comparison, I will quickly cut and grab my SNES controller. So one second. Okay, here we go. So yeah, that's the SNES controller. I think that feels better because this is literally just a hunk of plastic. And also, I don't like how the cord is not centered in the middle of the controller, but preference. But yeah, this controller feels feels legit. Also, these. That D-pad feels a little bit different than this, this D-pad is a little bit more, like, clicky, I guess, like... Can't really feel that as much. Or hear it. There start and select buttons, they go in a little bit deeper than these ones, these ones kind of wiggle around. Sorry about the lighting, but what do you do? Then the A and B buttons, they feel nice. They feel really nice. I'm sorry if my iPad keeps on moving away, that's because I'm trying to see it with my own eyes. Um, yeah, like, it feels great. It feels really good. Now, to plug it in to the console itself. I'll get that out of there. Try not to obstruct your vision too much. I can, okay, there, that goes in like that. As you can see, looks up like that. If I remember correctly, I believe this cord is only 30 inches long, which is not a good thing. But, um, if I'm correct, I believe these have the same, like, adapter. And for my SNES Classic, I got 
controller extension cables, which basically kind of tightly let me sit down and play. Like, I can sit down on the couch comfortably and play. Like, I guess I'll screw you quick with my horrible setup, but like, I sit over there, the SNES is over there. So yeah. Anyway, um, and also problem is for the NES, I have no more HDMI plug than the TV. Luckily, if you noticed, we got two TVs, so that shouldn't be a problem. And also that's my tripod I used to record stuff on the GameCube, it's so old, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try, but can we plug this into here? We can. So, theoretically, we could play this with the NES Classic. And I'm gonna actually try that. I'm not gonna do that in this recording, but I will at some point, probably. And also, just to make this more clear, I'm just gonna like take the SNES control away from here. So yeah, now we're gonna look in what we have remaining in our box here. Here's our adapter. Well, our adapter, like our wall plug-in. Oh gosh, that ankle's horrible. There. Okay. So it has a nice little Nintendo logo on it. If it can focus. Okay, that that's perfect. So um then it's got a USB plug in it. I did not realize that. Then it has the wall plug-in right there. Then here in the bottom of the box, I'm just gonna like set this down on there. How do I get that out? Oh I see. Just kinda gotta move that a little bit farther back. You gotta just like kinda pull at that, I believe. I hope. Oh, so you just kinda like take that out. Wait, I think I'm doing this incorrectly. <laughs> One second. I'm just gonna cut so you don't have to see me failing miserably at opening a box. One second. It's easier than it seems. You just take that, open it that way. In the bottom here, I believe we have our HDMI cord. Um, that looks like an HDMI cord to me. Then uh, that will open go into the Mac of the NES, I believe, yeah, that one. Then here we have our PC adapter cord thingy, I'm guessing. This table's a mess. Um, oh dang, it's in a little Ziploc kind of thing. That's interesting. So, in here, it's got, that's not even tied. Um, here, if I can stretch it apart, oh dang, it's in a knot, <laughs> kind of, okay, there we go, there we go, so, as you can see, here we have our USB, and here we have our iPad charger, I'm gonna quick check to see if that actually works for iPads. I wait. Okay, I'm just gonna plug this into the iPad because I'm recording with my iPad. That's really derp. Um, I don't wanna be too like messy with it though. I don't wanna like shove it in there if it doesn't work. Okay, no, that does not work. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah. So that plugs into there. Like that. No, second time. Okay, second time. But this plugs into the back of our NES. Here, everything is just a mess here, I'm sorry. Um, stretch that apart a little bit. That goes into... One second, gotta focus that. Oh yeah, perfect. Nice in there like that. Pretty nice. 
to get our HDMI cable out so it kind of falls out the bottom, I guess. Again, this is in a twisty, I don't know what you call these actually, but I'll just call them twisty. Dang, how tied up is this? That was like way more tied up than it had to be. Oh, that was a really nice sound. I'm not sure you heard that, but that was a really nice sound. Um, yeah. So, I don't think any of these are HDMI out, necessarily. Oh, I think this one is. So, I'll plug that into there. Obviously, I don't have this plugged into a TV, but whatever. Okay, yeah. That looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. But I think that's just about going to do for this unboxing of this horribly messy area. Um, I'll just show you very quickly again what the control itself is like. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, but... Ooh, it's got the good kind of screwed it. You can actually, like, unscrew if it's bad instead of a silly, like, three-ended ones. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this unboxing, everybody. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. So then, once I believe I will get the second controller, then I will unbox that and you can see it. But, that will be it for this video. So, actually, let's just do this to see how long the controller cable actually is. Oh dang, that's like really tied up. Uh, there. Got it. Okay, that's like not any distance at all. Like. So as you can see, I'm holding that in my left hand. And I'm kind of doing half a T-pose right now. That, That's literally like one arm's length distance away. That's not going to work. Luckily, my controller extension should work. I won't do it here, though. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Whatever it may be. Goodbye. But I can actually end the video because my holding my fat awkwardly. Goodbye. Hello everybody again, get wrecked, this wasn't the end of the video, as you could probably tell by looking at the timestamps. So I got my NES Classic plugged in, and here we have it running on the TV. Beautiful. What, what, what even is this? I've not seen this yet. That's pretty nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, um, so here is our game itself. I'm going to be showing that off a little bit more in a little bit. Not quite yet. So as you can see, um, I just kind of have my NES Classic just kind of snugged in the corner of the TV. I decided to plug into the TV that actually had available HDMIs compared to the one that did not. So yeah, um, I have... Most of the cords just kind of going back behind there. There's also cords for a few other things. The EC adapter sadly could not plug in over there because there's not enough space. So I had to put it back around that couch with an extension cable. Also, I want to show you. So, as you can see, that's tiny. I can't even, like, sit on the couch and that's way back there still. So, I tested this out already, but conveniently, if that's ever going to unplug... Hold on a second, everybody. Look at that beautiful shot. Okay, so as you can see, I unplugged it. That's doesn't even go to the ground. But luckily, this can plug into here, which is I got this from my SNES Classic for two extended controllers. But you can plug that in there, and now you can plug this into there. And, 
I know that angle's horrible, but I have nowhere to set it. Oh, come on. Yeah, done. And as you can see, now I can sit way over here on the couch and play just fine from the TV. So yeah, that's freaking great. One second, everybody. Baby. Yeah, sorry for the cut again, everybody. Um, but there was one other thing I wanted to show you, which is the SNES controller. <laughs> now I'm really thinking, what about it? I think I said it already, but it can plug into here. I've already experimented with it for a little bit. Set that there again. Bad angle, but sorry. As you can see, the SNES controller works just fine too. So yeah, like if if you press um, X or Y or L and R, it does nothing. Oh, I pressed the button. <laughs> oh dang! As you can see, here's the reset button. Press that, and it goes back to the menu. I'll just like <laughs> I'll just go like delete that data. I did a big bad. As you can see, it works just fine. So if you don't want to get another NES controller, you could do this, but I would not recommend it. But you could. I'm not gonna. Probably. Probably. So yeah. Now I'll cut ahead to gameplay in a second. That might be commentated, might not be. I'll just show you what it's like. So yeah. See you in a second. Probably. Hello, everybody. And now for the, like, gameplay portion of the video, I'll just kind of be going through the menus and stuff and checking out everything. And I was looking at it earlier, but apparently a little bit of the top of the screen is cut off on my TV because there's not, it's just, it's just not. And we're, we're gonna go through that menu later, um, I'm not even sure what those first two, well, I'm not, I'm not even sure what the first one does. Um, language, yeah. Legal notices, look at all those nice legal notices, wow. Um, but also it's really cool for the NES and SNES Classic, so you can just scan that QR code. And then it will take you to a website where you can find all the manuals for the original games, and that's really neat. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started with a few games. And by the way, I do later intend on playing more of these in like individual no, no commentary videos, just to kind of show them off and stuff. So we're just going to be playing through a few of them right now, um, I guess we can just do a little bit of Donkey Kong. And by the way, I have the audio off, so I don't... Okay, um, <laughs> oh, it's a demo. Hello? <laughs> Wait, I'm playing now? Okay, I'm playing now. But yeah, I have the TV audio off, so I'm not sure what the music's like, but I did kind of try a sampling of it, and it sounds pretty nice. Like, not really much else to say about it, but it sounds pretty nice, so... Yeah. Now, I'm not really an expert at this game. Oof. There, proof right there, I'm not an expert at this game. Now that I've been using this controller for a little bit, it actually doesn't really feel bad. It's kind of weird. Okay, you know what? This gameplay section has gotten too long. I'm just gonna like... Oh, we're gonna get him now. I think. 
Oh yeah. Get rescued. For the first time, Pauline. Oh no, DK done stolen Pauline. Such spook. One second, I'm gonna like pause. Or reset. So yeah, now we can take a look at this menu now. Um, like I'll save that, I'm just gonna delete that because I didn't make any progress, really. Um, let's see, what's another game we can play? That I'm halfway familiar with. How about Kirby's Adventure? That sounds fun. Bam, Kirby. Kirby's Adventure. Let's do file one. Vegetable Valley. Oh no. Oh honey, no. Get wrecked. The lag. The lag is real. What the heck? And yeah, I'm sorry about any background noise, but how the heck do you fly? Oh, you just press up. Oh, that's, that's, that's intriguing. That's very intriguing controls. I've never actually played Kirby's Adventure before. Actually, the only ever Kirby game I've played before is Kirby Superstar. And technically it has like a bunch of games in it, but what the heck? Oh yeah, I got that spark. People say this game is way too short. I have not, like I said, I've not played it before, but the fly controls, they dirt me out. I don't think we're going to do much of this, and also I gotta be loud right now, because everyone's being loud up there. One second, everybody's just getting out of hand. Sorry about the cut, the background noise was getting loud. Oh, honey, no. Honey. Honestly, I swear. What, what? Okay. What's in here? Okay. What the heck? How do you even play? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, yeah, I think I'll be through this game. I'll just leave it. And again, not save my progress, because I, I don't. No. 
let's see what else we got. The lots we gonna have, have some kind of knowledge of. Um, Pac-Man. Why not? I've not actually played Pac-Man in quite a long time. Oh, what the heck? I don't like how he just like stops moving sometimes. It's not fun. Oh, get juked. I'm not really a pro plaque Pac-Man player, as you're probably witnessing. But apparently I'm decent. So, yeah. Again, I don't really think I'm gonna play too much Pac-Man, but... I didn't mean to die. I'll just go until I get a game over. I'm stupid. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's back in for you. <laughs> oh yeah, two minutes of gameplay. Solid. Um, okay, I think we'll just play Zelda 1. And we'll play Mario 1 after that. Let's play a little bit Zelda 1 than Mario 1. And, while I'm thinking of it, I am just going to, well, I was going to mess around with the settings, but I'm not going to do that now because I'm not familiar with it. Elimination mode, what the heck? Her name is, ah, uh, yep, that's it. something. Hey, there we go. Go get her sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this, amiibo. His face. Very limited experiences. <laughs> very limited experience with this game, so don't expect me to be a pro. I 
I think I'm just gonna run around and do a little bit of stuff. Oof, have get done hit. Let's head this way. Oh dang, I accidentally found a dungeon. Okay, let's go left. I'll take a key. Head this way, see if there's anything in here. Oh, yeah. We have one rupee, let's go. And we have a second key, so we can work out what to do with it. Whoa, some lag there. Hey, I didn't give you consent to hit me. What the heck? Whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll end it there. Fair enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Retry? That sounds interesting. Okay, yeah, the last, we're gonna, yeah, last game we're gonna play is Mario 1 because every, no, everybody and their mom knows it, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, this game feels pretty good at these controls, so like, Feels a little bit awkward to not have X or whatever. Just trying to do a good jump. How did I do that jump before? Whatever. So we're gonna mess around a few menus quick for the fun of it. So one second again. Uh -huh. So yeah, some menu messing here. Um, I'm just gonna leave that open. So we're gonna change the display, we're gonna make it CRT filter, cause why not? So now we got our beautiful CRT filter. So I suppose this is how it would look like originally. Looks pretty bad, gotta admit. Hey, you got him. Yeah, I think I've actually... I've never actually played a game on a CRT TV before, so... Oh no, pit. How spooky. And I know I missed the hidden area, but whatever. Okay, I'll switch to other mode quick. So I guess Pixel Perfect is... I'm not sure if Pixel Perfect is how it would have looked originally, or if it's just, like, the aspect ratios are the same. I'm not sure. If I had to guess it's probably 4x3 normally, but I'm not sure. I'm not getting get under there. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oof. Wait, 
can go in there. I didn't even know you could go in there. I just first for everything, I guess. And everybody knows that exit. And no way am I gonna try any of that, um... I don't even know what to call it, like the Minus World Glitch. Surprised I landed that. For this level, if I remember correctly, I think the strategy is just keep, keep on heading forward, because he can't get you otherwise. Oh yeah. I'm gonna switch back to the other aspect again, quick. The normal one of poor Retry. Like, I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to look or not. This does look a little bit wide now that I look about it. Now that I look about it. Now that I- oh, now that I look at it. I'm an idiot. It just looks a little bit off to me. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how the games were meant to be played originally, so... Well, how, how the games were played originally, that's what I mean. Because you couldn't simply switch the frame size and the old ones. That's what I was looking for. Isn't there like a... Okay. I'll take that. I didn't actually know that existed in this level. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm obviously not gonna do a full game playthrough right here or anything, but... I'll play till I get a game over, how about that? Okay, that was fun. Have one life left. What am I gonna do? I want fireball. Fireball. Okay. If you don't want to. Whoa, I just fell through that wreck. Oh yeah, got to grind that watch time. That bonus watch time. Oh, okay. That's fun. Yeah, I think Fort Brush Free does look a little bit off, but I'm not positive if it actually is off. That was a little bit clutch. That was also quite a bit clutch. Pro commentary, isn't it? See, the funny thing was through this game, I was so bad at we on Wii U, I had to use like four save states every level. So yeah, and yeah, I'll just go till I get a game over. If I happen to be the game, that's great. I'm not gonna try and get a game over at that point, but like, if I beat the game, I'll literally be shocked.
Wow, another level. I'm doing pretty good. At least compared to my standards. That was a nice thumb crack right there. Barely dodged that fire bar. Oof. Whoa, that was interesting. Oh my. Ooh. Oh, Bowser's having a rough day. <laughs> Poor Bowser. Precision platforming right here. Precision right there. Prime example. Dang. Is that my last life or not? Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, that'll just about be the end of this video. In fact, it will be the end of this video. So yeah, um, one second. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. From because I'll probably do more content on this and the SNES Classic in the future. So look forward to that, I guess. Um. Yeah, I guess. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!